we talk about what we're going to do today. We're going to have a good play with dry brush painting mm -hmm. or drawing. We can call it painting or drawing, but we're using a brush and we're using paint. And dry brush, and why do you think it's dry brush? Remember last week, why, why do you think it would be dry brush? Because we won't be using water. Exactly, no water. Yeah. Just a little bit of this liquid tempera, okay? So it's the same paint we used last time. And what I've done is put these out on your tables for you as well. So, and notice which brushes I've got out here. The stiff brushes, and we call these bristle. Bristle brushes. You don't like them, okay. Me too, me too. But they're really good for this because we don't want a lot of paint. In a dry brush technique, watch this. Notice that I'm just going to dip that in there, and I'm using the edge here to actually even get less paint on the brush. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a, today a crazy self-portrait, but I'm going to make the shapes, first of all, with a dry brush. Okay, so these are kind of yeah. here. That's great. Okay, now do, should I have a neck? Yeah. Yes. I have a neck. Neck's actually quite wide. It's wider than we think. Oh, Often we make an, a narrow neck, but actually, look, the neck comes down from my ears. So the neck is almost that wide. It's shall I one. shall I wear um, I the skivvy or a t-shirt? T-shirt. T-shirt. Okay. So there's the edge of the t-shirt, and there's my shoulders. Okay, that's enough at the moment for the outline. But, you know, I'm going to make this, yes, you've got a question. For me, it looks the same like you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, so excellent. now I'm going to do some crazy things because I'm going to put some eyes on this, but I'm not going to paint the eyes. But I'm going to paint the place where the eyes go. Now, I know that when I'm looking straight on at somebody, the eyes are actually in the middle of the head. Look at, look at Baldek here. If we look on straight on, notice the top of his head and his chin and his eyes are around about halfway. So you know what? I'm going to do a big black smudge there because I'm going to, that's where the eyes are going to go. And where do I think the mouth is going to go? Somewhere yeah. here. So I'm going to do kind of a, I want less paint. I'm going to do a kind of shadowy scribble there. And I know I've got a huge nose. So we're going to do a big shadow next to my nose. Okay, so there we are. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. I don't know what mood I'm in for my hair. So you can, when you're doing this, you can change your hair. You can do any hairstyle. Maybe I'll do, you know, something like this. And I can add to that later because what's going to happen after this stage? Oh, Lily, could you choose some markers and do a great big colourful mouth here, please? Could you draw a mouth on that? Okay, and we're going to cut the mouth out. And um, Adam, could you grab some markers and do a left eye? I want okay. to do the right eye. Okay, you want to do the right eye? You want to do the right eye? Who wants to do an eyebrow? I know, I want to do nose. You all want the nose? I was first. You were first with the nose. You want to do an eyebrow? That's a right eyebrow? Left eyebrow? Who wants to do an ear? You want to do which ear are you going to do? Left ear or right ear? Which one? Uh, right. right ear. Okay. You're doing left, Seba. Left ear. So, so while they're doing that, I'm going to do some more here. That's, I'd like lots of colours. That's fine. When we make a shape, we cut it out, but we leave a white gap around the outside. You see that? Yes. Can you see that? So when you're cutting it out, because we want, we don't want to cut any of your lines off. We want to see the lines. So can you cut? You, can you cut that out? Okay. Great. Can you cut it out like this? Leave a white shape all around the edge. Right. <laughs> Who's ready with something? Who's got something ready? The nose is going to go here. So what we're going to do is... You did, I know, you did a super big nose. And we're going to put that there. And which way up is this? It's this way up for the mouth. And here is the mouth here. So we're going to put the mouth here. Wow, this is great. This is great. So you can see, yes, what have you got there? Uh, so you've got an eyebrow. I'm going to wait for the eyes because I don't know where to put it yet. 
Who's got an eye? I got the right Which, eye. You've got the right eye. This eye here? Yay. Have we got a left eye yet? Yes. Can you cut that out? Oh, okay. Can you cut it out with a white gap around the edge of the line? Yeah? And now cut that out. There you go. How are those ears coming? It's so beautiful. It's amazing. Do you want to cut that out and make a, a white gap around the edge? Let's have a look. We've got one ear. Ear. Where do the ears go? Look, they go just there next to the eyes. Let's see the next ear. Who's got another eye? Where's this eye? Here it is. Adam. Brilliant. That's fantastic. We've got two eyes and we've got another eyebrow coming. Wow, that is amazing. Look at that. So shall I stick those down? So now, when I've worked out what the positions are, I can glue them in place. Wow, this is amazing. Look at that. And you know what? You might, when you're doing yours, when you're doing yours, you might get your friend to make some of the things for your face so that you have really interesting different styles. Or you might make invent your own different styles for this. Before I outline the three learning goals for this lesson, a big thanks for watching this far. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Now, what about those learning goals? 1. To be able to draw or paint with bristle brushes and liquid tempera using a dry brush technique. 2. To be able to create direct colour facial details for collage without using pencil outlines. And 3. To be able to discover new and diverse style options through peer-to-peer -peer collaboration. Here are the materials you'll need. A3 sized brown paper, A4 sized white paper, liquid tempera paint, paint palettes, bristle brushes, colour marker pens, scissors and glue sticks. Enjoy!